Hello, I'm Guillermo Martinez, and today we are going to be talking about this. These are very special drums. These are called Wewe'i. In the Nahuatl language, means voice of the grandfathers, voice of the elders. And as you can see, I put tobacco on them. Put four pinches, and and typically we feed the, these type of drums before we start using them. And also have copal here. I'm burning in a very old burner, a traditional one, and um, also important to feed these drums properly and, and cleanse them. But anyways, so this, these are very ancient type of drums. These are from the Aztec and the Maya culture. In the Maya culture they'd be called Cayums. see on the bottom here they have these arrows that are cut into the legs and these are pointing down this is for the energy of the drum to go into the earth and this one here in particular this is a masterpiece this is done by my mentor Javier I mean uh, Agustin Rodiles and Agustin carved this this is a copy of the very famous drum called Malinalco and the Malinalco drum there's of the wood wood remnants from these ancient cultures are very few in existence because of the humidity and wood does not hold up very well for like say 2,000 years. Uh, but there are a few examples in Malinalco, the Malinalco drum is one of them and it's very well known and it's in the national collection there in, in Mexico City. And so this is a, a copy carved out of a single log of aguacate or, or avocado. Now this type of drum here, these three you see here, are staved. They're made from sections, like a barrel. And this is something that I developed, oh, I don't know, more than 30 years ago, probably. And kind of very popular now, and used quite, quite widely. And because I had a hard time finding logs, and so I came up with this, this solution. And you can build uh, the forms in different diameters, and, and uh, I made a set like this for myself when I performed at Knott's Berry Farm and see most people would just have one I, I had well I have more than one but more than three actually but um I typically would play three and it's so I can have different tones and create different patterns and but um but anyways so this uh these have bison hides and also this this lacing technique is something that I I developed along with Javier and it's using the pegs um, and using kind of this this lace technique that's a combinate that I, I picked up from the from djembe's and it was a way of putting uh because the old way was this way here if you can close up here using tacks so when i first started and replacing fixing drums things were tacked on using nails and so doing this replacing the heads you created you would create like a lot of holes and start to chew up the wood and i really didn't like that so i came up with this this over here which is now pretty widely used and it makes me you know it's, it's something you know I, I never never claimed it or anything but it's happy to see something that i started that that is widely used within the danza community or people that use these type of drums and so these can be used for typically used for for ceremony now uh, can be used for music I use them for both because I played in a group with Javier and we, we did music which which is of a ceremonial nature so um, so let's, let's hear these
was a, a very popular uh, Mexica dance pattern that's called Iztacuautli, the White Eagle. You can see it's very powerful, very energetic. But like I said, you could also do music and you could also play these by hand. So yeah, these are the wet wetlands. So um, very powerful instrument, and I would say, in my opinion, um, Oscar Rojas is probably one of the best makers at this time. He was my apprentice for a long time, and he's kind of taken taken up this. You know, of all my apprentices, you know, he, they kind of all specialize in one thing or another. They learn to make everything, but. Uh, Oscar really has, has done a really great job with making these wet wetlands and um, he's the man and it makes me happy to see so someone that you know sticks with you and learns and how they develop as an artist and it's, some, it's a beautiful thing. So I hope you like this and once again thank you for for checking out my channel. We'll put this on Patreon as well and um, maybe one day in the future one of these, a drum like this could be for you. And um, they're big and they weigh a lot, but they're beautiful. Thank you. That's what can